What's up everyone, Stan here from FundingTraders.com. Today I'm gonna have a, a very controversial video that are, a lot of people were asking me uh, to make, but it's gonna ruffle some feathers today because uh, uh, a lot of stuff that I'm gonna be saying will not go with the common themes that you probably hear on YouTube about trading and uh, what 99% of YouTubers and gurus teach you. So this video is basically uh, I wanted to title it, uh, if I were in your shoes, if I was 19, 18, 20, 24, 22, uh, how would I approach trading and using prop firms if I was starting all over again, know nothing about trading? So first of all, prop firms enable you to get access to capital and uh, this recent phenomenon uh, that has become available to retail traders is uh, is a very, very big thing, a leg up for uh, a lot of uh, people who otherwise wouldn't succeed in trading. So first of all, let's get back to the roots of the whole uh, ordeal. Most courses that you're going to be looking up to buy or to uh, all these gurus, they're going to tell you, pay me a thousand dollars and I'll teach you how to be profitable traders in uh, three weeks, a month, or two or three. In reality, uh, if you're a retail guy, it's gonna take you at least a year. Six months if you're a phenomenal uh, guy, but it just takes repetitions. It, it, it's, it's not about how smart you are, it's how much, it, you just have to have necessary trigger time as when you're shooting a gun, you just have to have enough repetitions. Just like in basketball, like Kobe would practice hours and hours and hours before anybody would even uh, come to the gym to practice, because you just need that. You just need to put in those reps. It's like going to the gym and lifting weights. You, there's just nothing like the reps. Okay, so same thing with trading. You have to have at least a year of 12 hours a day, staring at the screen and experimenting, playing around and uh, dedicating yourself to this crap. That means you have to cut out all the bullshit if you really wanna succeed. You have to cut out all the partying, most of it. You have to cut out all the shitty friends, all those go smoke weed, man, or whatever the fuck you do when you're 20, you know, and we all did this shit. You know, uh, going out to bars, getting hammered, and then you're recovering for two days, three days. All of that nonsense has to go out of the window. Do you wanna be a millionaire or not? This is the dedication it takes. Because again, we all know how to look like Schwarzenegger, all right? Or at least half a Schwarzenegger, let's be honest. We all know what you need to eat. We all know not what not to eat. Don't eat fucking sugar, candy, all of that stuff. No pizzas, no pastas, protein, vegetables. Hit the gym for two, three hours. You're gonna look fantastic, right? But how many people walking around on the streets looking like Schwarzenegger? It's very few, right? Same thing. And then year after year, there are books and courses and gizmos that you see on TVs. You press this like this and like this and you, you know, all, and it's a billion dollar industry. Even though we all know what to so eat the salads, eat the meats, do push-ups, do um, lift weights, and that's it. You know, it's nothing complicated. And uh, same thing with trading. Uh, in trading, now this is gonna be very controversial. Um, most people think there is a holy grail. There is nothing further from the truth. It's actually just teaching your brain to observe a certain repetitive behavior in the markets using a certain lens. Now, what do we call these lenses or these filters that we put, uh, uh, train our minds to look for, the patterns? Those patterns are called technical analysis, ICT, smart money concepts, Ichimoku cloud, moving averages, support resistance, order blocks, all of that thing is just the prism, the filter that you start looking at specific situations for. And after six months to a year to two years, to be realistic, you're gonna start developing your intuition to start having your mind operate on, on uh, a subconscious level recognizing these patterns and just gonna jump into your eye, into your brain immediately once you spot them. And that takes trigger time to be unconsciously competent. And that competence comes with a lot of hard work. And most traders do not last two years 
to get to that promised land. You know, they all watch the videos of uh, whatever, you know, guys like me in Miami, guys richer than me, guys that are faking and whoever. And uh, guys who are renting cars and they're 20 years old and look at me in the rented Ferrari and all these bitches and look at me, blah, blah, blah. I can teach you all this nonsense for if you only send me a thousand dollars, right? We all see these videos and uh, and you think, okay, so let me try this. So you try for two weeks, you know, it's like, again, it's like people after New Year's, right? Everybody's like, all right, January 1st, New Year resolution, I'm hitting the gym. And then come February, March, there's barely anybody left in that gym that were uh, all pumped up in January. Same thing with trading. It takes a lot of hard work. This, it's a brutal, brutal, brutal business. It will make grown men cry. It beats up uh, your, the, the problem why it destroys grown men to the point where they're gonna cry or feel suicidally depressed, which will happen. It's because you have to kill your ego in order for you to grow and transcend to that level of competency. And it's basically you fighting against you, against your fears, your greed, your all those emotional states that deprive you of making the right decisions. And it's you against you. You know, you're, nobody makes you press that button at that particular moment. And most um, novice traders, they think, oh, the price can only go up, can go down, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so the point of all this is very simple. You can pick a discipline. You know, long time, long, long time ago, somebody uh, told me, just pick, 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 Pick a way of trading that you kind of like and just stick with it. It's not going to work uh, even 90% of the time. It's, it's same with ICT. You know, you can get the um, go on trading view, get the order block uh, charting um, uh, automated, uh, whatever you call it, indicator, right? And you're going to see that the price will blow through them like, like nothing. It's the narrative. And the narrative comes once you actually realize what trading is all about. That you have to understand what the big players are doing, what the fundamental macro environment is doing, where the money is flowing towards. And then you construct the narratives. And then you use the technical analysis, whatever technique you pick, whether it's support or resistance or, or, uh, or order blocks or small money concept or this or that. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Because you will know when to enter when and when to stay away because it's going to be discretionary. And to get that competent discretionary skill set, it takes time. So forget about fighting whether this technique is better or this technique is worse. Go get yourself a market wizard's book, okay? Well, I don't want to turn around the camera. That's on my shelf. But uh, go, go get a market wizard's book. And there's one that called Professional Retail Traders. I think that's the last one that came out. I know uh, there's one famous trader, very old, well, 60s, 70s, whatever he, Peter Brandt. I know the guy, he's famous on Twitter. He still uses classical, boring, 1970s style technical analysis. He only trades head and shoulders, uh, triangles, and stuff like that, which is like complete and utter. If you would try it, you would probably fail. But he's making money because to, to get into that book market wizard series, you have to provide a an audited financial statements uh, from your trading. And he's a millionaire, trading complete nonsense that, you know, if you would type it in on on YouTube that you try, uh, would you, should you be trading this style? Everybody's like, <laughs> this, is, this is complete garbage, as if something else is not a complete garbage, you know? Uh, not that something else is complete garbage, but it, it always it, it's always 50-50. It's your discretion. Maybe you have a little bit of edge with some newer techniques, but, 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 but by the time, you find something that works a little bit better, let's say five, 10% better, trust me, big institutional guys will find uh, and write algos to remove that advantage real fast, okay? So it's more about constructing the narrative, understanding where the money is flowing by the big players and riding that wave with them, that's it. And the technical stuff, this chart shit, is just you picking on shorter time frame, when, when to enter, and then ride the wave. That's it, using the pullbacks, okay? There is no universal algorithm uh, like some people claim, okay? There is no one algorithm that controls everything and, other, and all of that nonsense, forget about that. Because 
If anybody would know about that algorithm and there's, we know who the person is teaching this stuff, right? Wouldn't you think that guy would be a fucking billionaire? Not only a billionaire, but a, a deca billionaire. You know, this guy is teaching you about the algorithm and he'll figure it out, blah, blah, blah. And then he's showing you a fucking Corvette car, okay? That anybody can go rent or buy or whatever. It's a $100,000 car for crying out loud. Anyway, uh, going off the tangent. So it's, besides all that, these people still teach you, people who have experience, uh, who've been on the markets for 10, 20, 30 years, like the guy who teaches the smart money concepts, right? Um, he still delivers a tremendous value because he's been around a block for 30 something odd years. And uh, especially his older stuff is excellent stuff to start with, with on your journey if you want to learn uh, how to look at markets because he does look at markets, especially in the older stuff in a very mature way by a person who has been around a block and who has been beaten by markets like a rented mule. And remember one thing, Mike Tyson's coach wasn't Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson still had a coach who wasn't Mike Tyson. So just because the guy is not Mike Tyson, he can still teach you to become Mike Tyson. You understand what I mean? So take what works for you, takes what doesn't work and, and discard it. And then you develop your system within a year or two. After that, once you actually uh, have a little bit of successful track record in percentage terms, it doesn't matter that you can trade, take your thousand dollars and just trade it as if you would be trading $10,000, $100,000. And then you get a, a, a prop firm account. That's where the prop firm comes in a year or two later. Not right away, don't, don't, don't use it as a casino and, and yellowing stuff because the risk managers will spot you doing bullshit and they'll just kick you out in reality. As they should because prop firms are not here to just give you money so you can spin the wheel and then what? The prop firm will be holding a bag of shit? No. Um, so simply put, use that time of spending 12 months to 24 months honing your craft. Then use the prop firm to build up your own capital. Don't start buying a gazillion dollar, uh, you know, million dollar account or 500,000. Buy yourself a $50,000 account. All this mayhem going on with uh, which prop firm should I pick? Oh, that prop firm did this and that prop firm did that. It's all irrelevant. It's irrelevant when you're buying a fifty or $100,000 account. It's irrelevant. They're still gonna pay you. There are little flavors. This 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 prop firm does this a little better. This prop firm does that a little better. This doesn't really matter. Just pick one, get twenty five to one hundred thousand dollar account, and start getting paid. Start getting uh, consistent. Once you're gonna get consistent, this prop firm will want you to retain as a trader because now you're making them money. They will scale you up themselves because we're looking for diamonds in the rough. And that's when that's that's how you will you can within a two three year period start earning more than you would otherwise spend four years in college learning how to do something and then start with $50,000 salary to $100,000 salary where you could be making that within three to four years as a monthly thing, okay? So that's what, that's the plan I would uh, give myself after being in this industry and on Wall Street for 20 years. This is how I would approach it as a younger me or again, obviously, some people are starting in their 30s, 40s, doesn't matter. But take a year of, you have to realize, you're not going to lose weight by going to the gym once or for a week, you know? God, I've tried. God knows I've tried that myself, right? So, um, you, you really have to take it seriously. Do you want to be in the, in the profession which allows you to make millions of dollars? Okay, fine. Don't you, don't you think if it would be completely fucking easy, then there would be a line of people making millions and millions of dollars and everybody would be just one giant Ferrari filled world, right? So be real. It's very difficult. And the reason why it's difficult is because it's, you have to sustain yourself for a very, very long, prolonged period of time. And obviously no journey is just straight to the moon, straight up. You're going to have ups and downs and you're going to be doubting yourself and you'd be like, what the fuck am I doing? And your parents might be telling you, what the fuck are you doing? And all of that jazz. But that's why most 99% of people opt out to be salaried slaves. 
okay? That's why they will be making 100, 200, 300, 500,000 dollars, but that's the, pretty much their limit. And that's great. They, they will kill, most people will kill to have that opportunity. Where Wall Street people can make that in a, a month or two or three, anyway. So the, the craft itself requires discipline and it will pay off if you, just like going to the gym, if you're gonna put the reps in, it will pay off, but it requires a lot of reps. And the problem is most people are unrealistic about their expectations, how many reps it takes to make it happen. And that's about it. So it's, uh, for the people who wanna do the TLDR version, uh, you have uh, you have to understand that it takes a year to two years to become okay in this craft. It doesn't matter which system you pick. Pick one just so it starts giving you a lens, a filter to a prism through which you view the market. And then start understanding how big players view the market using fundamental analysis and uh, understanding how everything is put together and putting these piece, pieces of puzzle by reading books, bank reports, and watching YouTube videos, being in the right uh, Telegram, Discord channels, all you will start picking up pieces of the puzzle. And within a year or two, you will have pretty much an okay picture of how stuff works. But it takes time because you one guy is not gonna teach you everything. And by the way, last thing, if somebody's selling you a course, about I'm gonna teach you how to do uh, become a trader and just pay me a thousand dollars you can get all of that shit for free on YouTube okay don't buy those courses what you can buy though if somebody's gonna be mentoring you and be physically showing you how to trade that you can do and by the way on at fundingtraders.com on our discord we're doing it three times a week for free as classes and every day we share our screens our senior guys I'm sharing my trading screens every day so again if you know where to look and now you do come to our discord it's all free you can see exactly what i'm looking at when i'm trading all my charts and all this stuff what's going on you can ask me any question you don't need to pay anybody five thousand dollars for that okay so now you know now you have no excuse um that's it you know um now that you have no excuse it's either you're gonna go to the gym and put in the reps spend 12 hours to 15 hours a day for the next year and ignore all the bullshit that's going out in, uh, outside the world, go into the monk mode, get serious about it, and then emerge a victorious, tough son of a bitch who has money two years later. Or you can uh, fool around, be a jack of all trades, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try that, and we, we all know how it happens, and then they say, oh, market is bullshit, or drop shipping is bullshit, or this, that, or whatever, right? So uh, if you're serious about this, this is the business which makes millionaires every fucking day. So want to be one? Now you know how to be one. FundingTraders.com.